This is your shoulder and hip vinyasa yoga practice. Hi friend, I am Katie Arnold and welcome back to your practice. I am a yoga and meditation teacher, breathwork and journaling coach, host of the Soul Connection podcast and your teacher for our practice today. This vinyasa base class, this just means that it is a flow base class, is going to focus a lot on our hips today. We'll also have some focus on the shoulders as well, but I want you to be prepared to build strength and create a lot of space in our hips today. Now, I am going to suggest that you have a block for our practice today. If you do not happen to have a block at home, please don't leave class yet. Go ahead and just grab something that could resemble a block. For our practice today, you could just have that be like a thicker, smaller, like throw pillow could be a great replacement. So just something does not have to be this exact same size, but something that is firm. We will be squeezing it in between our thighs to activate our lower body. So go ahead, grab your prop if you don't have it already. Roll out your yoga mat and meet me right back here. All right, so we are going to get started for this practice lying all the way down on our backs. I want you to have that block nearby so when you're lying down, you have it, you don't have to worry about a quick little roll up to grab it. So just go ahead, roll down onto your back, finding whatever variation on your back feels most supportive. We'll just be here for a few breaths to ground down into our bodies. For me today, that's just gonna look like having my feet planted. I'm taking them about as wide as my yoga mat and knocking the knees in towards one another. That feels really good on my low back right now. So you could take something like that. You could just let the feet be hips width distance and the knees up towards the ceiling. You could also extend your legs long. You could take any variation of this posture that feels supportive and as soon as you land here, as soon as you find that place that feels the best for you, connect in with your breath. So starting to feel those inhales and exhales. Starting to Build your ujjayi breath so that nose to nose audible breath, the ocean sounding breath. Feeling that constriction at the back of the throat will help create that ocean sound. And allow that breath to guide our practice today. So if you get too warm, because this breath is gonna build some heat from the inside out. So if at any point you get too warm, just take some open mouth exhales, release some of that heat. And now bringing your knees into your chest, take a few gentle rocks side to side, starting to massage out that low back. And bringing those knees to center on your inhale. Exhale, drop the knees over towards the right. Supine twist. Legs are stacked. Left arm can come out of the left shoulder, gazing over your left shoulder. And inhale, bringing those knees back up through center. And exhale, dropping them over to the other side. Right arm onto the right shoulder. Inhaling back through neutral. Planting your feet on the mat, hips with distance. Now grabbing your block or that replacement block and bring it in between the thighs, squeezing that block in between the thighs. 
And now we are going to squeeze that block even harder on an inhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, gently release. You're still keeping that block in between the thighs, but inhale, squeeze and hug it in. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. Notice how it fires on that core. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze that block. Exhale, release. Just one more like that. Inhale, squeezing the block. Exhale, release. Planting your palms down to the mat. Tuck that tailbone and inhale, lifting the hips up. Still squeezing that block in between the thighs. Exhale, lower down. Moving dynamically with our breath here. So inhale, squeeze. It's still early. You might not lift those hips up quite as much as we usually do. Exhale, lower down. Really pressing in through all four corners of the feet. Inhale, lift those hips up. Exhale, lower down. Let's take two more just like that. So inhale, squeeze that block, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower it down. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Beautiful, removing that block from in between the thighs. So to rock and roll up and down along the length of your spine. And maybe eventually you get enough momentum and you rock all the way up and over those ankles. Just start to make your way to a tabletop position for me. Wrists under shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And then inhale, dropping your belly, lifting your gaze, coming through cow pose. Exhale, belly button to spine, chin to chest for cat. Inhale, cow, heart chains forward, gaze, pulls forward. Exhale through cat, let that spine round, pulling up towards the ceiling. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, spine rounds. Take two more rounds of your cat and cow with your breath. Letting it be okay if it's a little bit faster or a little bit slower than mine. Last time. Inhale back to that neutral tabletop. And then take that right leg out to the side. So planting the big toe side of that right foot, shifting your hips back to stand up on that left knee. So we're in a gate pose. Inhale, sweeping your arms high. Exhale, take a gentle side body stretch over towards the right. Right hand can come down to that right thigh. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, take it over to the left. Inhale, up through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Last time, take it over to the left. Inhale up through center. And then plant your hands down on the mat. Walk your hands forward a little bit and start to shift your hips back. Coming into a child's pose variation with that gate leg. Breathe here for three breaths. Pressing into those palms, coming back up. First going through our neutral tabletop and then sending all of that over to the other side. So extending that left leg out to the side. Shift those hips back to stand up on that right knee. Inhale, reach those arms up high. Exhale, take that side bend, stretch over to the left first this time. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, take it over to the right. Engaging your core as you move here. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, left. Inhale, through center. And exhale, right. Inhale, center. One more time, each side. Exhale, left. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, to the right. 
Inhale up through center. Plant your hands down on your mat. Walk the fingertips forward a little bit and shift the hips back. Breathing into that opening in the inner thigh. Pressing into those hands, coming back up through our tabletop position. And then curling your toes under, let your hips go up and back, our first downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk out that down dog, pedaling out the feet, bending one knee and bending the other. Starting with a little bit of movement in our downward facing dog. Acclimating the body to this posture. And start to find some stillness. With the chest pressed back towards your thighs, we look like an upside down V here, knowing that your heels don't actually need to touch the mat. Take a full round of breath. Inhale, shift it forward to a high plank. So palms pressing into the mat, heels pulling towards the back of our space. We're creating that long line of energy, pulling that core in up and strong. If at any point you can always drop down onto your knees, but still keep that active core engagement. Big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes, roll the shoulders down the back, pull the elbows in towards the side body. Inhale, lifting your head, lifting your chest, baby cobra. Stay and hold right here. So start to feel that activation in the back. Start to feel it firing on. One more inhale breath. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, press it up through a tabletop position. And all the way back to our downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Walking your hands to the back of your mat, forward fold back of your space. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale up halfway, lift the long spine, flat back. Exhale and fold forward. Root down through those feet. Inhale, stand all the way up, sweeping the arms up and overhead. Exhale, let your hands come down through heart center. Big breath in to ground. Big breath out to anchor even deeper. Inhale, arms sweep up and overhead. Exhale, hinging at your hips, folding down. Inhale, up flat back. Exhale, walk it out to a high plank pose. Inhale, shift it forward. Either stay with straight legs or drop down onto your knees. Exhale, lower halfway down, elbows in close to the side of the body. Inhale, upward facing dog, heart shines forward. Thighs are lifting up off of the mat, shoulders down. Exhale, roll over the toes, let the hips go back, down dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale that right leg high behind you. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Staying up on the ball of that left foot, inhale, sweep both arms up for crescent. So our high lunge position. Tuck those low ribs in, engage that core. Energy reaching up through those fingertips. Big inhale breath. Exhale, spin that back heel down. Open up warrior two. Creating that heel to arch alignment. Reaching fingertip to fingertip, drop the shoulders down the back. Inhale, straighten that front leg, palms meet up and overhead. Exhale, land back down in that warrior two. Inhale, straighten, arms, Reach overhead. Exhale, land in that warrior two a little bit deeper. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, goddess squat, sink that seat down. For this practice today, you can just bring your hands to heart center. Maybe start to take just a little bit of a shimmy side to side. Big breath in, big breath out. 
Bring those hands to your low back and start to skater to the back of your mat, straightening that right leg. So bending into that left. Shift it up to the front. Skatering to the front, shift it to the back, skatering to the back. And now exhale, low lunge, top of your space. Keep that left hand down, inhale, reach that right arm up, low twisting lunge. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, plant that right hand down. Step that left foot to the top of your mat. Forward fold, top of your space. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Bring those big toes to touch. Little space between your heels. Inhale, bend your knees. Sink your seat. Find a chair pose. Lifting those arms up. Biceps by your ears. Hugging those inner thighs together. So just like we did in our warm up, where we were squeezing that block. I want you to feel like you're still squeezing that block in between the thighs. Big inhale breath, take those arms out nice and wide. Exhale, cross that right arm underneath the left. You can grab onto opposite shoulders, or if you have a lot of space in your shoulders already today, then maybe you start to reach for eagle arms. Big inhale breath. Exhale, release and forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank pose. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, that left leg high. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Inhale, sweep your arms up for a crescent. Landing in our high lunge. Now there is some balance happening here. So if you feel like you're on a tightrope, heel toe that left foot a little bit more to the left side of your mat, widening out that base. Big breath in. Exhale, open up warrior two. Creating your heel to arch alignment. Big inhale. Exhale, settle deeper. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Palms meet overhead. Exhale, land back down, warrior two. Inhale, extend. Palms meet. Exhale, land, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This time, inhale up, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, goddess squat with your hands at heart center. Focusing on that breath. Feeling that inner thigh shake. Big inhale breath. Exhale, let your hands come to your low back. Inhale, start to skater to the back of your mouth, bending into that right knee. Exhale, skater up to the front of your space. Inhale, skater to the back. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat. Right hand plants, inhale, lifting that left arm up, low twisting lunge. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more, inhale. Exhale, plant that left hand down, step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, up, flat back. Exhale, fold forward, big toes touch, little space between your heels. Inhale, chair pose, sink that seat down. Lifting that chest up. Reaching those fingertips to about the place where the wall meets the ceiling. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, extend those arms out nice and wide. Exhale, this time left arm comes underneath the right. Either staying in this bear hug, giving yourself a nice hug, or maybe starting to find your eagle arms on this side. Big breath in. Big breath out. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, unwind and fold forward. Inhale, up, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, high plank. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. 
two more rounds of breath. Reconnect with your breath. Inhale, shift it forward to a high plank. Stay for the breath out. One more big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale up, baby cobra. If you find that you have more space, you could start to put a little bit more weight into those hands, maybe lifting a little bit higher into your cobra pose. Big breath in. Exhale, lower down, take it back, child's pose. Big breath in. Let it go. Inhale up to a tabletop position. And then start to walk those hands out in front of you a little bit more. Keeping the hips over those knees, start to lower the chest down towards your mat. Maybe you can get the forehead all the way down. If you have a little bit more space, maybe the chin comes down to the mat. This is called puppy pose. It's very similar to our child's pose, but as you'll notice, gets into the shoulders even more, even deeper. Press into those hands, inhale, lifting it up. Back to your tabletop position. And then we're just going to get right into a half pigeon. If you'd rather get into it from downward facing dog, you are welcome to do so. Otherwise, just bring that right knee up behind that right wrist, extending your left leg out long. You can stay up on tall arms if this feels good, if this feels like enough. Otherwise, if you are ready at any point, you can lower down onto those forearms. You can use that block to support you in any way here. Breathing into that hip opening. Just coming back up into tall arms, curling those left toes under, and just make your way back to your tabletop position and take it over to the other side. Left knee behind that left wrist, right leg extending long, staying up on tall arms for a moment just to get those hips square. And either stay here or as you're ready, come down onto those forearms for five breaths. Pressing into those hands, coming up to top arms, go on to that right or that left hip, swinging that right leg around. Planting your feet, we're going to low on, lower onto our back for the remainder of our class. Once again, make sure that block is available and nearby. And lower all the way down. Walk those feet in, keeping those knees up towards the ceiling. Pressing into those feet, lifting the hips up off of your mat. Take that block and slide it underneath the low back. 
resting down in a supported bridge pose. You can do this whether you are using a pillow at home or whether you are using a block. Now, option one is stay right here in your supported bridge pose. Option two is to take a legs up the wall variation without needing to have a wall nearby. So using this block or using your pillow underneath your hips is just gonna help support the body. So you can have those legs up longer with more ease. So I like to start by bringing the knees into the chest. Once they're there, start to extend the legs up towards the ceiling, flexing the toes back towards your face. Now, I am using a cork block. And sometimes because they are a little bit harder than if you happen to have like a foam block at home or if you are using a pillow that you have at home, the cork blocks can sometimes get a little aggravating to the low back because they have that firmer, harder edge. So if you try this on and you have a cork block at home and it does not feel good, then I encourage you to just take that supported bridge pose. If you find that this is still too much work for the legs, if they're getting too fatigued, then I also encourage you to take that supported bridge. For some reason, you just don't want to take a legs up the wall today and you would prefer the supported bridge that is there for you too. Option, right? Let this practice be yours. Wherever you are, we're gonna take three more breaths. into the chest, planting your feet down on the mat. So we first all meet in that supported bridge pose and then press into those feet, lift the hips up off of your block, slide it out from underneath you, slowly lower down onto the back and just windshield wiper the knees side to side. And hugging your knees into your chest, wrapping the arms around the shins, bring your nose up to your knees. Take one more big breath and squeeze everything nice and tight. Exhale, release to your final Shavasana, extending the legs out long, extending the arms by your side. Closing down the eyes or just really softening that gaze. Inviting in a few moments of stillness, of peace, of integration. fingers and toes, rolling around the wrists and the ankles, reaching those arms long, taking a big good morning stretch, and rolling over onto your favorite side, coming into a fetal pose. And pressing into your hands, Coming up to a nice, easy seat. Crossing your legs, letting your sit bones be nice and heavy. The crown of your head pulling up towards the sky above you. Hands can rest down on your knees, drop the shoulders down your back. Just a few more moments in stillness. Maybe taking a moment to set an intention for the rest of your day that's ahead. I usually like to take whatever 
the first thought or affirmation that happens to bubble up to the surface. Inhale, sweeping those arms out nice and wide. Let your palms meet overhead. Exhale, pull those hands down through heart center. Gentle bow of the head. Thank you all so much for joining me. I am so grateful for our community here. Om Shanti. Peace. Thank you so much for joining me. If you don't already have my free mindful movement class calendar, then grab that. The link is in the description below. I help you figure out how to create a movement practice based on where your body is at every single day, giving you options to meet where you are at. Also, if you happen to be watching this, in time, when it comes out live, grab my free morning routine challenge. We are starting as a community on Monday, September 19th. It is a free five-day challenge with meditation, mindful movement, and journaling practices to set the intention for our day ahead. We will ease into it. So it's a really beautiful practice, really beautiful five days together to set your morning tone to set your day on the right foot. Thank you so much for joining me. All the links to everything are in the description below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you are not already. It helps more people find free yoga and let's get real. Who doesn't love that? So I will see you all back here on your mats for your next practice.